Last time in Rise of the Rune Fox, um, we left off with a after dealing with a goblin invasion of the town of Sandpoint off the Varesian coast of Galarian, a sheriff came to you all after dealing with the goblins and informed you that there was a strange event outside the um, the local graveyard, the boneyard as they call it, where it seemed like somebody was tampering with the mausoleum of some of the those who died in the church's fire long ago that will be exposited later on as he informs you about it when you guys come to. But, after dealing with the four skeletons inside the mausoleum that nearly wiped the party due to bad, lo bad luck rolls, but after finishing them off, the sheriff sent Delia Rue out to find the cleric Father Xantas, and we will come to from there. Welcome to Rise of the Runefox. What are you all doing? Uh, Lars is absolutely in need of some healing. He is at one <laughs> HP, and again, I might, I might petition that we uh, maybe, maybe rethink this whole uh, um, conditions thing when you get wounded. What, what do they call it? When you uh, wound thresholds. yeah, the wound thresholds. Wound thresholds. I, I, I might petition to, to maybe just reconsider uh, as to whether or not this <laughs> is sense. you know necessary. But, nah, that's that's cool. Um, We're good. Lars, with it. Lars is, uh, uh, yeah, I could I I could really really use a spot of healing and uh, you know a uh, good night's sleep, maybe uh, maybe a solid twelve hours, something along those lines. Uh yeah, Odin Odin could also do with a little bit of a little bit of rest. Uh he's also at one HP. Baylor Hemlock blood dripping from his gut slash is like, yeah, I think we're all gonna call it quits tonight after after getting healed up by Xantus. Where the hell is that bastard anyway? And upon saying that, Delia and Xantus come running in, and lacking a token for Xantus, I will use where the hell is... Where's my old standby? Is it Nigel? No. That's not it. Where is it? There it is. Why did I think it was Kansas? <laughs> uh, Xantus comes sprinting in with Delia Rue like, uh, Yes, yes, uh, I'm here. What, 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 what's going on? And upon seeing the skeletons and the cool skateboard man with one beefy arm, he's like, My god, what's happened? Uh, are we supposed to see the yeah. two map? Oh, that. my bad, I didn't you wanna, move you. You want to put boop, this boop. on that right tab? Oh, yeah, there we, <laughs> there we I go. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it seems everyone here is an artist of some form. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, no! <laughs> oh, no <we're> going again. <laughs> what have you done? I can only really rotate good. some of it. It's because I drew most of it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the coolest skateboard trick ever. Brother Zantis, he's been in a... Horrific accident! You must have By the gods, this with. man! His <laughs> limbs have been shuffled around! I, I don't think there's anything I'd do for him. Man, but permanently shuffled. And he just sidesteps that monstrosity. <laughs> and he goes, I'm, I'm going to... And as he nears this um, tomb, he peers and is like, What? Where's, his, where's Ezekian? Uh, Ezekian? I uh, haven't seen him. Just two so, skeletons. No, this... That was who was entombed here. What? What's going on? Baylor Hemlock pipes in and goes, "Yeah, that's what I that's what I call these adventures down here for." I can can you hurry up and heal us? We're quite wounded, Xantus, If you can't tell from my internals becoming externals. I mean, feel free to take your time. I'm in perfect shape. Lars Lars holds out his hammer and goes, "Jeno, please." <laughs> and uh, he holds his holy symbol of Desna and channels <laughs> fucking nine uh, nine hit points for everyone and he goes I, 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 sorry I'm, I'm not in my brightest mode uh, can you give me a minute sorry this and has he, never happened before I'm, I'm having performative anxiety I'm sorry <laughs> and he channels again that's only slightly better but here we go. <laughs> give me five more minutes and I can do it again the, the the refractory period it's 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 quite large I'm sorry let let me just play with my holy symbol for a minute and 
There we go. <laughs> okay. Is is everyone feeling better now? And Hemlock is like, uh, yeah, I I reckon I'm okay. As he's like holding his gut wound, it's like, oh. Lars God. immediately says, "Yeah, actually, I'm I'm all better. I never felt better in my life." <laughs> that's that's good. Um, what? Who's? Please stop. <laughs> stop disassembling the man. And what is actually here is just a a robe on the floor. Oh, Not yeah. an entire <laughs> yeah. person. There was some substance to this initially. Yeah, I'll go over and detect magic. Is it magical? Um, it has faint traces of magic upon it, but nothing remains. No, nothing no, remains. like, it's lingering magic, but it seems to be deteriorating over time. Okay. What happens if uh, Lars goes over and puts it on? You are now covered in a purple robe okay Ooh. neat adding that to my uh, uh go under gear so let's see just add new gear custom okay. gear it has a big skull and crossbones on the front of it yeah this is oh. really my aesthetic actually that it seems to have had can you? pockets that were ripped off and uh <laughs> Is it like is it like pockets in the side? Uh, no, there are no longer any remaining pockets on it. Uh, but are there just That's holes pocket. now? Um, no, it's like where you rip fabric out. So like, holes. So holes. Okay, not not like <laughs> that. It's like, have you ever torn a shirt pocket? It's kind of like where you can see the where the outline of where the pocket was, mm. but nothing is there currently. Oh, okay. So oh. so not like a. Uh, pockets that you could stick your hand in and you know secretly do things Pull to out yourself 20 platinum no wait what no, what, what? Yeah, <laughs> no, <20 laughs> platinum. that's what i meant okay um yeah it's just a ruined purple robe and magic seems to be fading from it fast wow just your aesthetic yeah and lars lars holds out his hand and, and goes fireball nope nothing all right well i tried <laughs> just kind of hoping Okay. Uh, hey, and, uh, Father Xantis, you got any idea what this, uh, I mean, did this belong to, uh, the dead guy? No, I, I don't know what that is. I'm, and he's just, like, standing over the, the, the tomb with his hands, like, on each side of the coffin, just staring in, just, like, dumbfounded, like, what is, what's Well, he's on? not gonna come back just from you staring at him. Uh, Haramlock goes to his eyes, like, it's, um... It was one of the people who helped, who died in the um, un the unfortunate incident that befell this town long ago. That required us to consecrate a new church that was the that celebration was meant to be for. I um, I was uh, not sure at the time, but I by uh, I was briefed on it shortly after coming to this position. The uh, it was a dreadful time of the town uh who would have taken them would you say the goblins would have mayhaps i i i don't really know why a goblin would come in here and steal just a, a, a tomb or steal a body from a tomb and leave this great robe behind it makes no sense i the beauty lies in the eye of the beholder i reckon but um <laughs> One man's trash is another man's treasure is another phrase that comes to mind, staring at you wearing that uh, robe you found on the floor of a mausoleum <laughs> after being nearly killed by a bunch of skeletons. Ah, oh, I was barely almost killed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you were unconscious. Uh, were, you, were you? No, I don't think I was ever unconscious. I only was down to one HP, so... Okay, you, you only closed your eyes for a little bit. You weren't all... You weren't... Okay, I see I see how it... As he nods his head with a cowboy hat on it. It's a good thing I wasn't okay. raging at the time, otherwise... <laughs> that could have been a little dangerous. <laughs> I, I reckon so. I've heard many... Word of many who die while under the effects of a... A rage. Anyhow, um... What the, the hell is going on here, Xantus? And Xantus goes, I, I have no idea... Him, Locke. I am, I am s s quite shook by this. I must say, um, c 
could, I, I, I just need a moment as he continues staring in, like, into the tomb. Oh. Well, uh, Father, I think we need to go get some rest, personally. Uh, what time of day is it, Omnipotent Gia? It is, it's roughly, um, oh wait, no, this is, you're asking me. Okay, it's like, uh, 8, 7 p.m.? Yeah, that's a good thing to head back, uh, go, uh, go back to the Rusty Dragon, and, uh... Yep. Yeah, I've nailed it, gotten one. Um, and uh, go you know, <laughs> shack up for the night, and, uh, well, maybe we can reconvene in the morning and uh, discuss potential theories and ideas of what, yeah. to, what may have happened. All right, good session, everyone. Pretty short, yeah. but, I mean, I think we got to the point. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 we're good. And we'll see you all in two weeks. No, uh, <laughs> <thanks for watching. laughs> Goodbye. I cut the outro music. No, but, um... Baylorham, like before you all begin to leave, he's like, I um, I need you all to keep quiet about this. I, I, I don't want any more panic going around town. With I don't want this to become the second late unpleasant, the recent unpleasantness. Um, God's almighty. I, we, we need to keep this a secret. What with these goblin invasions and now people raffling around in tombs, I'd... This this doesn't sit right with me. I, I I abide this, and we need to keep quiet about this until we can come up with a battle strategy about who did this, why did they do this, and how did how on how in Galarian did they manage to pull this off in the middle of a damned goblin invasion? Uh, yeah, well, please. do you not think that someone in the town might know something? I. That's a good point. That's a good point, Mister uh, Mister Odin. Uh, we can't rule out. Someone in town, some tr saboteur, trying to rile things up in town. Or I don't, I don't, I don't understand why they would steal Tobin's body, but not anyone else. But some, someone could have seen someone take him too. Well, That's it was true. out here in the out here in the boneyard. There aren't many people who live out here. Most of the chaos was centered around the the other areas of town. I mean, there's a wall right next to us well you're yeah, telling but seeing me... as the chaos is in the middle of the town I, I feel like people would be running away from the center of town that's that's true there could have been someone who maybe ran by the boneyard but you're telling me there's no uh, vagrants who might hang out in the boneyard or or young teenagers who come here uh, to you know <laughs> be alone and and like beautiful cat body. hunters who'd like to <laughs> sleep in graveyards from time to time it's nothing uh, really. young young people that love to come to the catacombs and make out. I'm just saying, it's a place to go if you don't want to be, uh, you know, spied upon. Well, I can't say I've ever done that in my youth, but um, I, I reckon if you guys think it's such a highly likely event, I suppose we can't rule it out yet. Well, <clears throat> just just uh, put just... a put a bulletin on the the town, you know, an APB asking for all horny teens uh, <laughs> if they've seen anything. I, 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 think I don't believe that's the proper like thing that. you want to... You <laughs> might want to workshop that phrasing. Listen, uh, I'm not, not going to do your job, Sheriff. I'm just you know, give, giving you an idea. You you take it. You can run with it. You can drop it. Whatever you want. I just, uh, I'm trying to help here. I'm trying to contribute. We'll put a pin in that and come back to it. And he's choosing his words carefully. At a later date. <laughs> sure, sure. I'll... Sounds good have my investigators go around town seeing if they can find anyone who knows anything about mm -hmm. hanging around the boneyard and see if there's anyone who's seen fleeing the boneyard. Most of my um, most of my uh, town guard, and he's like clasping his head, that was busy helping put down the goblin and the goblin invasion in the in the west and the south. Thankfully y'all mostly fin pretty much destroyed all the ones in the north. <clears throat> Y'all did a y'all did a mighty number on them that you can see on our YouTube channel later on if you catch it later. Um, <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> Don't forget to ring that bell for notifications. Go to bio. <laughs> ring that bell. <laughs> Chef, I find it I find it rather suspect the fact that you know this place is co is called colloquially the Boneyard, but you don't know the reason for that phrasing. <laughs> well, I mean, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lars, Lars would have a hearty laugh at that. <laughs> yeah. 
Delia's well, got the a, uh, got the right of it. This is a poor time for jokes, but I appreciate the sense of humor. If this was a not currently, this was going on, and a ton of people didn't just die a, a scant few hours ago, I would be having a hearty chuckle at that too. But um, there's been a lot of death today. Let's let's cool down and <laughs> no. get some fucking rest. Uh, Sheriff, cool are are down. you trying to put the moves on us? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Try this. I am, oh, sure. I didn't know. That's why we came to the bone yard. I am merely <laughs> trying to insinuate that I would like uh, to go home and lay down because I nearly died. Yeah, I, uh, I, I understand you. Um, I'd like to go, uh, you know, have a drink or two, uh, knock back a few at the the Rusty Dragon, and maybe uh, chat up that Amico and and then head to bed. I don't know about my uh, my friends here, my new friends. Uh, we. What say you? I'm going to stick around here and investigate a little bit more. And then Great I'll idea. You. you probably won't die. <laughs> well, I did take out three out of the four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had no one to soften them up first or anything. That's fine. Yeah, I did give you a potion, too. So, yeah, I'm just going to look around here for just a little bit and then okay. see what I can find. I will take up my usual position of a... Uh... Help in investigate, and certainly not just napping on the roof of the tombs. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, and whatever you choose to do, I humbly thank you for your help in this endeavor. Um, with that said, and he reaches into his pocket and fumbles around not that pocket. Uh, never, there we go, and he pulls out um hey. four ten stars, and he hand passes one to each of you, and he says, "You are now um." Consider this an official deputization. All right. That's, uh, this will go perfect on my robe. Okay. What, whatever the rest of you three choose to attach this to, um, con consider yourselves deputies. But don't, please, again, do not rile up the town with the word of Ezekiel and Tobin's, uh, ex -sang not ex sanguine she's already dead. Um, I thought we were telling these teens. Excavation. No, no, no. We're going to ask the teens if they saw anything while they were boning down. Uh... Please <laughs> do not ask any teens. Please do not approach, Lars. I need you to not approach teens and ask them about their <laughs> illicit doings around the boneyard. You do bone yeah, it's like you do, zombie yeah, early. It's awful, it's awful suspicious. You don't want us to investigate. I have other investigators that I will task this to who will handle this in a hopefully more delicate manner than asking random teens if they bone. Is there a Mrs. Sheriff? Well, I have, I'll have you know, delicate is most of my name. No, she, I, 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 I just learned how to spell delicate last week. I think she's right. <laughs> well, I think I'm the right, the right man for the job asking these teens. He just starts to like move his hand to his like the place like where his what's that term for like the spot between your eyebrows and your nose and you just pinches it and just like narrows his eyes the bridge of your nose and he just pinches it and goes like right <laughs> right they all hate us I am currently <laughs> rethinking the deputization uh, yeah, does all deputizations this... happen in in the boneyard. <laughs> no, they happen wherever I feel like bestowing a deputization. Normally, in a more official sc scenario, where um, we're not making boning jokes, ideally. <laughs> the kids of Sandpoint call it deputization. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I assure you, no I'll jokes. I'll leave you all to it. Today. I'll leave you all uh, to it. I'm gonna turn in for the night. Well, See what, what are you morning. gonna do? I'll find y'all. Skeletons on the floor. Well, this is the bone yard. Well, <laughs> here's a yard. There's the bones. What's the problem? <laughs> Lars Lars would uh, grab problem solver his hammer and load it over his shoulder uh, and start start saying, "All right, well, uh, uh, you guys can keep investigating. Those who said they keep investigating me, I'm gonna go uh, gonna go pounce them down. Uh, talk to Amiko. She's around." Santos, you can uh, dispose of these remains as you see fit. I don't, I don't reckon they're from our town. Maybe they were brought in or something. But 
I'm heading out, and he uh, leaves. Yeah, and I just want to do like a cursory, like figure out cursory glance of this area, just checking gotcha. the tombs and stuff like that. Um, can I just take 20 on that? Yeah, it, you can see like footprints around in the dust and kicking things around. It seems like there were a couple goblin footprints, but also a larger humanoid. Like how large are we talking? Like human size. Human size, okay. And uh, do you investigate the robe? The robe? Well, I think what's his face took it. Yeah, uh, Lars yeah. did. Yeah, I definitely he took it. So. He's investigating it at his leisure. I'll just move it on down with him. Okay. All right. Well, then after I do that, I'll just head back to the rusty track. Okay. Well, I'd like to presume that the humanoid is actually Krant. <laughs> <laughs> Krant in his younger years. <laughs> it's a crossover. Uh, two two years younger. Okay. Two years younger. But um, yeah. With that, we make our way to the rusty dragon. Has Amiko welcomes you in, and the uh, it seems to be a better mood than um what was in the tomb yard the bone yard earlier where everyone seems to be winding down with a uh, long draft of alcohol odin actually ends up just heading back to his house off the north okay a couple miles down the road so all right as when uh arab and i head to the rusty dragon i just follow her or delia just follows her okay Can you uh... Can you highlight the rusty dragon over here? Uh, yes. Give me just a moment to find it There's again. There's a lot of numbers here. Yeah. Yes, there are, and I absolutely hate it. Um, it literally does not say where anything is. <laughs> Thanks, Pathfinder. I'm gonna Thanks. assume it's that. Uh, You know what? It's um, oh, it's it's yeah, it's thirteen. Fuck it, it's thirteen. Okay. So you're at the Rusty Dragon, and Amika welcomes you. And hello, brave adventurers! Thank you for assisting this town That's a in lovely getting rid of these goblins. <laughs> Excuse uh, me, Miss Amiko. Have you ever gotten down and dirty in the boneyard? Oh hey, hey, don't <laughs> uh, wow, buddy. Can't say I <laughs> right have. Up. Listen, you don't just go asking people that. You know, especially you don't want to throw anyone to a panic after we had to fight those skeletons and found the guy's tomb exhumed. Oh yeah, what was that guy's name again? The <laughs> crowd begins to stop for a minute, like, what? Uh, oh, I mean, uh, hypothetically, what? hypothetically, hypothetically, Lars looks around and is like, no, no, we're not saying this actually happened, we're just throwing out hypotheticals. Back to drinking. Uh, four for, uh, uh, for me right. and my friends. Ah! Uh, fire! Ah! Uh. And he just falls over drunk. The sounds of Pass out for her. And uh, Amiko just kind of looks around like, uh, can you follow me for a minute? And she pulls you all into a back room and goes like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> uh, Amiko, um, we were, we were down at the boneyard and, uh, well, I suppose we can and let you, you mentioned... know because you're kind of important to the town. But uh, we we were there because the the sheriff asked us to go check this out. But we found uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, mm, anyone remember his name? The guy who was sure. dead. Sure don't. Well, anyway, uh, famous guy that had a big tomb. There were skeletons in it, and the guy is no longer there. And by that, I'm not using a euphemism for death. I'm saying he his okay. skeleton's no longer there. But I found this sick ass robe, so. So we came out ahead. <laughs> all in all, I win. Well, no, we couldn't find his head either. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Hence why we were asking if you've boned at the boneyard. We're trying to narrow down this list of suspects. No, I, I can't say I have. Um, you found. Well, do you know anybody who'll be willing to? I mean, who has? <laughs> No, I, I can't say that I have. 
Hmm. Um, well, uh, and this is what she uh, currently looks like. Oh, hey. She doesn't oh, have the loot. How are you doing? <laughs> and she says, like, no, I, I can't say that I have. Um, I only came to town a couple of years back. I, I, I left for a while. I was a adventurer for a while. Um, no, I, I have no idea who would have done that. Um, and she seems genuinely, like, worried, like, who? You're, okay, let me get this straight. You went into a tomb, there were skeletons in it, and an important town figure is missing? Town figure's corpse. Is yeah. that? Yeah. That's um... the long and short of it. And she's, like, scratching her head, like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, we we actually talking to the sheriff. He suspected that maybe the the goblin attack was uh, coordinated to distract somebody uh, from from what was really going on. I mean, goblins aren't too smart, though. Goblins so that smart. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I know you know they're they're kind of at my level. Being a former adventurer, Miko, have you ever witnessed anyone who is suspicious with a hood? came in here, looked around, maybe left early, left quickly? Um, I mean, there's a lot of suspicious figures around town, but, uh, not lately. I don't, I don't know. If they do, I haven't seen them come into the Rusty Dragon, at least. Um, when I was running the, the stall out during the festival, I think I saw, like, um, a few figures, but nothing specific about them and she's like scratching her hair and her head like I, I i wish i could help you more i other than the rooms i'm giving out to y'all um oh no i mean that's that's more than life. enough that's I, quite I generous know. gosh i wish i could remember the guy's name though oh. was it um tobin mm, that doesn't sound right i think it started with an e I see. Is that Ezekian? Toby? Yeah, Ezekian. Ezekian. Yeah, that, that's the one. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, he, um, he, from what I've heard, was burnt to a crisp when, uh, don't, the, the people in town don't really like to talk about this, but it's, um, an event referred to as, like, the late unpleasantness, where yeah. a whole bunch of crazy bad shit happened. And, um, from what I've gathered, like somebody or somehow and she like waves her hands around this and talks in a conspiratorial tone like the church the previous church caught on fire and it burned down with a whole load of people in it uh ezekian tobin was one of them and he was the previous cleric before um father xantus took over and uh, his uh, adopted daughter, Nualia, a uh, little Azamar child, I met her in my youth, but I don't remember much about her other than um, people seem to like her a lot. Um, they both died in the in the fire along with uh, many other people, and she like nod, she shakes her head sadly at this. It was a, a massive travesty around town. Or a tragedy, but not travesty. It was a travesty that they died, and it was a tragedy also that they died, but... Yeah, I don't really understand what the difference between those two words is, but uh, I agree. Usually they go hand in hand. Yeah, it's a bad situation all around. And... Yeah. Hmm. But um, I, I don't know. Everyone just doesn't like to talk. Nobody likes to talk about it from what I've gathered, so I don't think you'll have much luck asking people about it. But um, as far as I know, the guy didn't really have any enemies. He was a nice guy all around. And then, From when uh, when I've the heard. old church burned down, was there uh, any suspicions of foul play? Um, the previous sheriff looked into it some, but I don't think he ever found anything. And the since then, we've renovated the entire thing and tore the old one down and reassembled a new one. So I'm not sure. I personally did not look into it. I was out adventuring. But, um, I, I don't know. I wish I could help. I was out in Magnamar at the time. Hmm, awful convenient. 
It's a good alibi. <laughs> she like cocks her head at this, like what? I just no, uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, and well, how long ago was this? Um, several years. I, I nobody really likes to talk about, so they don't really, you know, they don't really want to give me any details. It's just for everything I've heard from like eavesdropping around people. Um. Yeah, it was just ages back. I was a small child, honestly. Mm. It does rather child. seem like lowballing it to call it the great unpleasantness. Well, it was <laughs> just called the late unpleasantness. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think a lot of stuff also happened where, um, well, and she looks in the distance and just says, some personal stuff happened. And also there was a string of murders around town. But there was like a drawn out unpleasantness where the the murders happened and uh, it was just a rather down of a year. Yeah, yeah. Right. I I left after um the personal event happened and then things started going to shit. And you so... said the previous sheriff was taking over this. Or... What happened? Yeah, to he him? was. I genuinely don't know. I left town by the time the church burnt down, and I have not looked back since. I I am sorry for their loss. I am sorry for the events that happened, but I had nothing to do with it. Well, I left uh, to Magnamar to make a name for myself. We'll Amigo, be the judge of that. Amigo, I don't, I don't mean to uh, you know alert you or anything, but uh, well, it, it, it may be happening again. I, I mean, I... I'm a bit of a suspicious dwarf myself, and uh, I, I buy into all sorts of conspiracy theories, and so I think it's highly likely that what we're seeing is uh, is another uh, is another round of that same thing. Could be. Hmm. I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm sure you will figure it out. Hopefully. I genuinely well. don't know where Glass Street goes. I moved it at some point, and I've just forgotten. <laughs> I, I like it's... I like it being the ocean. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say it's like this is Glass Street. I didn't even know you can move those. Yeah, it's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I couldn't. <laughs> I genuinely do wish I could. <laughs> kind of defeats it's... the point of having a map. I don't like that I can move it. You know what? I feel like Junker's way is to the south now. Right. I have that power. <laughs> Junker's way, it's in the ocean. It's Sandpoint Harbor now. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, okay, I think it was right there. But, um... <laughs> oh god. But, uh, yeah, it's just a uh, awful scenario, and I wish I could help more around town, but I, I do what I can here. Is there anyone else we could talk to, Amiko, that would be a little more forthright about um, this? Or not are, that you, is everyone not that you haven't been great. <laughs> Your <laughs> growing suspicious you side, great, but you I were... literally wasn't here when the church burnt down. That's what I'm saying, but do you know if anybody around here is, <laughs> Can, can we talk to someone who isn't as shifty as you, is what we're right. asking. Also, apparently, uh, Rusty Dragon is 37. I found I found a list of everything. Oh, nice. Well, oh, that we're down here today, the whole then. time. Yes, that down changes Marcus. everything. It changes. And by that, I mean everything. But um, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> I believe you were talking about uh, other people in the town who might be, uh, you know, more blabbermouthy types. Um, let me see. Or at least have something else to say. Uh, me, myself, I think I'm going to finish these drinks and uh, head to bed for the night. I'm a little uh, tuckered. I'm in That's a word not for entirely it. certain. Uh, Mayor Deverin might be able to help you more. She was mayor at the time. She's a old human lady. Uh, she lives up in... Don't actually know where she lives. I th you can probably find her at like a... Hold on, let me consult the list. Let me consult my list. Um... She lives on the ever-shifting Glass Street. <laughs> May, May God help you. 
she she has a house in the town hall. It's um area right here. Every, everyone just calls it Area Eleven. <laughs> it, it, uh, she's up north, around uh, northwest of town, up in one of the big castle keeps on the right side. If you're coming up Main Street, um, that's the town hall. Uh, you can find her there usually. Maybe not at this hour, but you can try asking her tomorrow if you need to. Yeah, I, th I think it's getting late, guys. And uh, <laughs> Lars has already changed out of his robe into like his pajamas, and like he's like, Are you guys gonna, gonna come "Footy back? pajamas." <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's full on. <laughs> it's actually more like the old timey, like stripy pajamas. <laughs> stripy pajamas like, with a flap in the back. Yeah, like yeah. while while we're in the random back room of the Rusty Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's you're just changing. the whole time that we're talking. He's just been changing. <laughs> He puts Stop. down his warhammer and puts on his footy flat pajamas. <laughs> Picks up his stuffed warhammer like pl plush. <laughs> I, I think it's time to go to the the graveyard. The Put, bone puts yard. puts the sleeping cap on his problem solver. Yes. Right. <laughs> a little hat for the hammer. <laughs> it does have a smiley face on it. Oh gods. So as you as exit the uh, back room, as you come out, you see a um, fancy man come out, and he goes, "Oh, it's it's you, my heroes! The, the these are the people that saved my life." Oh, here we and go before again. you is Aldern Foxglove. Oh, Aldern, you you little rascal! I <laughs> thank you so much, and um. Helping put down those bastard goblins that killed my dog. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, um, hey, I Alder, have a... you aren't uh, planning to get another job anytime soon, right? I mean, another dog anytime soon. Uh, no, I, yeah. I'm, uh, okay. I'm just uh, my advice: stay, stay away from dog. Maybe you look into a cat. You, you seem more like a cat type of guy. Excuse me. Nothing. Anyhow, <laughs> um. My pet situation aside, I have brought gifts for each of you. Um, here is, um, and he goes over to, um, wait, is Odin there? Od uh, Odin left no, to go he, up he north went to his home. home. Yeah. Um, I'll take where... Odin. Oh, oh, okay, thank you. And he hands you uh, 50 gold for Odin, 50 gold for you, and uh, 50 gold for, uh, your name, uh, Delia? Delia? Okay. Yes, Delia Rowe is my name. Here you go, ma'am. And uh, here for you, uh, Mr. Uh, Lars Center Surge. Yes, thank you. Um, if if you're free, um, tomorrow you can stop by... Um, well, not tomorrow, but... Uh, well, yeah, tomorrow, here. I, I know of a place out in the nearby Tickwood where you can um, accompany me on a, a, a hunt. And he kind of like perks up at that and smiles like, uh, "Would you like to accompany me on a, a hunt out in the out in the woods?" Oh, Where, uh, I can't say no to a hunt. Would you like to help hunt down a, a boar with me? Oh uh, yeah, I hate those guys. They just keep rambling on about their lives and you know the weather and like uh, you know what what the latest uh, play was on. I uh, hate boars. They're the worst. Mister Singer, search. Oh, please yes. remind me to buy you a dictionary at my earliest convenience. Ah, sure thing. Well, um, hey, Delia, uh, don't forget, uh, you got 50 gold now. You could probably afford a dictionary, and you said you'd buy one for me. Ah, thank you, Mr. Sender Surge. I, um, I suppose I don't have much else to do, so I'm going to accompany you on the hunt, and I am, a, well, at least I call myself a hunter, so sure. Wonderful. Uh, what about what about you, uh, Miss? I shall come with you, I suppose. The if... tickwood doesn't sound too appealing, I must say. <laughs> it oh, sounds like we might need some spray. Right. Oh, I'll bring don't the worry. heat for sure. We're we're going up through an escarpment called the Devil's Platter. Oh, don't don't better. worry. The the it's it's a wonderful place. It's don't worry, everyone. We're limestone. going through Mosquito Gulch. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna pass Hellfire the Alley. Syphilis <laughs> 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 Grove and Syphilis <laughs> Grove. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Tuberculosis Wood. <laughs> Here's Gonorrhea Junction. Yeah, we're gonna travel through the uh, the Valley of Venereal Disease. <laughs> oh Christ! Anyhow, Welcome to uh, Crab Gully. <laughs> Crab Gulch. 
And you got over there, Rusty Nail Alley. Ah, uh, shit. Tintness. Here's Cockrock Cove. Cockrock! <laughs> <laughs> oh kid. my god. Here's, um... <laughs> Yeah, here's uh, here's just scattered Lego, uh, scattered Lego plateau. Oh no, that's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will go uh, to yeah. the. <laughs> yeah, well, Lars. At this point, he's like he's like starting to fall asleep. He's good, like he's got like some milk, you know. <laughs> it's just like, uh, yeah, yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, for sure. Okay. And, and um, again. Uh, Stay, stay away from dogs. Oh, we can we can head out at any time, but the earlier the better, if, if you have nothing else to do. I guarantee you it'll be a wonderful tromp in the woods. And he seems can quite I, jovial. Can I, this. like, sense motive on this guy? Yes. Where the fuck is my sense motive? Lars is canonic. Oh, right. Too tired to <laughs> sense motive. Fantastic. What? Uh, 17th. He's just super happy that you guys saved his life and killed the goblins that attacked him, and he wants to, like, repay you, and this is the only thing he can think of is, like, helping, like, sending y'all out with him to hunt a <laughs> boar. Like, he, think, he thinks it'll be a, a fun way to, like, get to know y'all, and he's trying to be friends with you. That You think that's all it is, he just wants to be friends with someone. With anyone. That, with anyone. that guy well, makes me really sad. I, I, I mean, the with anyone kind of comes with the territory of talking to us. <laughs> uh, I mean, hey, y'all we, uh, we are kind of like the heroes of this place. Everyone who has talked to us for more than a minute hates us. <laughs> well, well I, okay, guys, I've been meeting the uh, round table real quick. I, 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 I know uh, I know Odin's not here. Everyone we'll, huddle. Everyone huddle. We'll, uh, we'll have to bring him in. Uh, I think we need to resolve to stop asking people if they have been boning in the boneyard. I think that's just <laughs> probably that's just the first step. Yeah, I think that's going to be number one of the list is when you approach someone, don't open with that. I mean, I'm not saying we can't ask anybody. I'm just saying don't open with, you know, hey, by the way, you know, my name is uh, Delia. Um, you know, well, to be fair, I didn't offer my name. <laughs> Well, I'm just again offering a uh, example. I'm not saying uh, this is a please. Please take the general Besides, and make it specific. We need to ask in the first place. I just wanted to get it out the way. Uh, I think it's okay if you're not even here. Shut the hell up. No, <laughs> I think it's okay if we say we're the deputy first. Uh, we're the deputies. Have you been right. boning? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we are the deputies of Pound Town. Where do you bone at primarily? FBI, are you tapping that? <laughs> Where and when was the last time you tapped that? We're uh, bringing you un in under suspic suspicions of uh, boning down hard. <laughs> uh, anyhow, Aldern promises that he will... Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get you all a mount from the uh, Goblin Squash stables. My, um... I'll, I'll meet you over uh, tomorrow around um, noon or 8 a.m. is good for you? Or uh, you let's split the difference. Call it 10. Th that's fine by me. Um, I'll meet you out um, west on the um, the over Tennis Bridge along the southern banks of the Turandorok River. Um, it'll just be a half a mile, a mile and a half ride to is, the Tickwood Forest. Isn't that east? I think west is all yes. ocean. Well, it's we'll be meeting on the west side of Tanner's Bridge. Ah, uh, so okay. Here, we're not we're not taking horses out over the the Frisian Gulf, Mister Mister Simbus. I bit my I talk, Mister. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ow, that hurt. <laughs> Being smug is hard. It really is. It really is. We're not taking horses out on the on the ocean, Mister Simbusurge. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. me. Oh, my Chad Purse. <laughs> can you talk? Can you talk purse. from your coin? Chad <laughs> Purse is chafing. But um, he goes. I'll I'll wear something more um, uh, to assist in not being in danger so much. So I'll I'll, I'll be I'll be safe out there. I'll I'll see you tomorrow. My my heroes, and he uh, walks away jauntily with his cane. Like ah, oh. 
I have friends. Lars, Lars, mother, I can't uh, wait to tell holds out, about my new friends. Holds out problem solver and like shakes it up and down to make it look like it's tipping his uh, nightcap to and him. It starts to glow. Whoa. Never, <laughs> done, never done that before. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'm going to head up, and Lars heads up. I assume the rooms are on the second story. I assume there's a second story. I'm assuming a lot of uh, Yes. Anyways, Lars heads to his room and uh, you know lays down in bed, and he pulls out the Pearl of Power and like starts tossing it up at the ceiling, like bouncing a ball, <laughs> just like, you know, sort <laughs> of like as he's falling asleep. Deli also goes to her room, but uh, via climbing the outside wall, because okay. she is Maris's sister. <laughs> yeah, a rabbit and I will just go up to her room and pass out. Okay. Uh it is a joint room, but it's like a you come in a center room and then there's four adjoining rooms. Oh that's right, it's dorm style. The adventurer suite. So, so we all take different routes to get there? <laughs> 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 We're all like, oh uh I guess we could have just all gone one way, but uh, anyways, well, night guys. No, we we said we said goodbye. It would have been really awkward if we all then just had to walk together up the stairs. Yeah, I don't know why we <laughs> said goodbye if we're all headed the same place. That was kind of, <laughs> you know what? Uh, all right, and Lars rolls over. You each have a. And oh, uh, yeah, Lars rolls over and like puts brings his covers up. It's like night guys. It. You each have a key, but it's all for the same room, so I guess none of you talked about, like, man, this is weird. Mine's room 201. Oh, mine's room 201, too. <laughs> 201, too? How many rooms are there? <laughs> I, I'm on the 2,000th story. The stairs are a bitch. <laughs> the two just means, like, second floor. I, I know. I just You said 201 and 201, too? Like, 201 is yeah. also... I, anyways, well, I'll explain it to the like, later. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that all of you have just added deputy to your fucking name. <laughs> <laughs> when the fuck did this happen? <laughs> oh god, I need to take a visit to Rum Street. Um, anyways, um, <clears throat> so you bed down for the night, and it's a smooth night of rest as you molder over the things that have the events of late, where you were nearly slaughtered by skeletons after. Utterly destroying the goblins. And another of your number ran off. Not willing to risk his hide for a bunch of schmucks. Oh god, just... please don't tell me parts of the town are going to start catching on fire again. Oh no. <laughs> and a second goblin invasion began. No. <laughs> um, night know. passes smoothly. Has uh, reconstruction efforts will begin tomorrow as you are awoken by the sound of hammering and town cries yelling out for aid for our donations to the church to begin helping in the reconstruction efforts. <clears throat> Lars, Lars would toss, uh, toss a couple of silver their way. Just From out the, the window. Yeah. Just the window. Just, you you <laughs> shut up! What day is it? <laughs> Why it's it's the, the the I forget what fucking day. God damn it. Well, uh, anyways, it's Christmas. Here's here's, it's Christmas. Christmas. here's a little bit of uh, you know walking around money. I mean, you know, this goes to the it's church. The second of Rova. All right. Thank, thank right, you. Thank you. Can we refer to all time being days until Gopher Fest? <laughs> <laughs> Gopher Fest plus three. <laughs> 364 days till go for <laughs> like the day dawn yeah uh, we measure time in uh, BGF and AGF gopher. Have to gopher. <laughs> which is which is funny Things because the if same you think about it that gopher festival if you think about it every time you're after gopher fest it's really just you know before the next gopher fest so <laughs> waiting for gopher fest right Everyone's constantly waiting till uh, Gopher Fest. Waiting Funny thing, uh, that is the that is the name of my new uh, prog rock album. Is uh, waiting for Gopher Fest. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> it's everyone's new prog rock album. <laughs> Before we make a band, uh, <laughs> help us all. 
Yeah, well, Odin usually gets up really early in the morning, seeing that his family uh, are lumberers, so they get up uh, the crack of dawn, uh, and he ends up uh, heading back to town to see what's going on. Okay. Um, your family is <laughs> seriously concerned about, like, are you are you okay? We heard some shit went down in uh, Sandpoint. Oh yeah, it's, it's all good. Uh, I'm just heading back. I am. I met some new guy, new people over there. Uh, need to see what's going on with the reconstruction in town. All right. Um, bring back some uh, milk. And eggs, yeah. please. <laughs> okay. And um, you make it a town, and there are people like happy to see Odin. Like, oh man, it's Odin. That's it's Flasher. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> like just screaming, like yeah, man. Yeah, you and, can um, call me as his pleasure from now on. Amazing, <laughs> but um, they're ex like people are. You're a hero around town. Everyone is. Each of you. Has you all make your way up in the morning, and every well, people tell you like, oh, are you not staying at the Rusty Dragon with the other heroes? Oh no, I got. I I got my place just a couple miles down the road. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, you, uh, I presume you make your way to the Rusty Dragon, or do you just make your way around town? Yeah, I make my way there. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Amiko points you up to the, where they're currently staying. Uh, alright, well, I'll just knock on the door, hoping that they're awake by now. Seeing it's gonna be like pretty early in the morning still. How, how Delia would how, what time probably is it? already Delia uh, would probably already be down in the main room just drinking coffee. Say forty five minutes past sunrise. Uh, yeah, Lars is Lars is not awake. He is a heavy sleeper. A rabbit I likes to sleep in. Delia cat naps, so uh, she's already awake. <laughs> Okay, knock if no one answers. It just keep knocking louder. Anyone in here? Go away! <laughs> I believe Fuck you're gonna you. have to knock Go a bit away. louder. Anyone in here? Oh, nice. <laughs> Fuck off! Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> Open up. Should I should I make a perception check to see if I'm hearing? Yeah, this? you can. All right. <laughs> It'll be at a significant negative. Yeah, remember the minus twenty. <laughs> ah, yes, a minus six. So I do not recognize this. I don't know who's knocking can I, currently. Can I make a volume check on my knock? Um, a strength check, I guess. <laughs> yeah, just, well, just make like well, a tell you is there check. with like the, the key. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just standing what? behind him drinking my coffee. <laughs> Oh, that's a just six. Oh. oh, I beat his negative six. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we take the absolute value of these two, hmm. right? You really matched them. A oh, Rob and I is the like in and out of sleep from yeah. the knocking and the. I assume the loud snoring of Lars. <clears throat> yeah, she's she's. Kind of rousing awake, although she hates it. Regretfully awake, as they call it. Right. <laughs> I will get up groggily, open the door, and go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who's at the door. Don't You're care now. who's there. <laughs> just come in if you must. Do you just have your eyes closed from just the brightness coming through the window? Just, right. Just open it. Just You don't even know who it is. I don't give a shit at this time in the morning. <laughs> I do Maybe believe an acid splash would goblins. make them quite well. <laughs> it's just more goblins. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, and before you is your party, and behind you is also your party. <laughs> Fucking Lars has a CPAP. Oh, yeah. Lars, whatever whatever the, the Galarian equivalent of CPAP is, he definitely would have it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the dude breathing into a tube. <laughs> Lars, like a little, Lars, like once a little he wakes up, he's like, "Yeah, I've been waiting for a little like uh, lesser restoration or something to to fix my nose. I got got hit pretty hard one time, and uh, it's never been never been quite the same." 
I know a friend of cleric who wants to actually like help you with it because they claim it's not a real problem. It's just like a, just fix my diet, but like it's not I, covered I, by I, insurance. It's not covered <laughs> by insurance. <laughs> it's a luxury item. <laughs> God. They they keep calling it elective surgery, and I just right. like I'm like, hey man, spend a night in bed with me, and you'll find out how elective you want this to be. <laughs> they don't elective restoration. They don't my how forward, Mister Sinister. <laughs> Again, not really a sex thing, just a uh, practical life reality. Lars, <laughs> Lars makes it all the way through and dies of sleep apnea. <laughs> you have to roll a 1 to 100 every night. <laughs> if you roll a 1, you just die. He kills the rune lord and then dies of uh, <laughs> asphyxiation at night. What a fucking terrible way to go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm so good close. for tonight, yeah. That was almost a good night. Yeah, dude. Almost a really good night. <laughs> fucking nice. No, but really. Nice. Um, everyone's together now, and you have a day planned, I presume? One no. to visit the um, oh, yeah, Mayor uh, Deverin, and the other to meet at Tanner's Bridge for an adventure with Aldern Foxglove. Yeah, hey, by the way, uh, and Lars is getting dressed and, like, fully gets completely nude in front of everybody while switching into his clothes. And it's like, hey, uh, Odin, we're, uh, we're going to go hunt some boar today. What do you what do you think? You, you down for that? Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. We just go in alone or what? Uh, no, we're getting taken by uh, Fancy Boy, uh, Rich Pants. What's his face? Uh, uh, I know you're talking about Rich, rich Pants, yeah. Uh, yeah, Alder and Foxglove. Which is kind of the a guy with the dog. Because I've never seen a fox with gloves. You've seen the one a with, the, with the dog, right? Yeah, well, he had the dog. Yeah. Don't really say, I don't think you can say the one with the dog. The one had the dog. The dog formerly known as Aldern Fox Loves Dog. <laughs> now he's known as Dead Dog. <laughs> Again, I really think that guy should have like a restraining order from all dogs. <laughs> He's been blacklisted. Well, Lars Lars uh, pulls out. You are not little... allowed to adopt from this pound. Yeah, the, Lars pulls out the little paper, <laughs> piece of paper and he he writes another thing and just takes a note. Says, if anyone reads it, they, he sees that uh, they see that he wrote uh, Alder and Foxglove should not own pets. Based on your two interactions with him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got a pretty good sense of these things, though. <laughs> oh, amazing. So, what do you do? Um, Where do you go? You have an entire town ahead of you. We would go to the mayor. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> so, after getting ready, you begin to make your way towards the mayor. I would like... Is anyone here a... Well, Odin, you're a local, right? Well, near enough to a local. Yeah. Can you make me a knowledge local check? Or in, if you don't have that, some type of a diplomacy check? Uh, I have neither. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can make diplomacy untrained, I think. Can? No, it's it's trained. I don't think so. I think it's just charisma, right? No, it's... it's it yeah. can be used untrained. That's what Can the star it? next to it's for. Oh, okay. I thought that meant it had to be trained. No, all the others have to be trained. Okay. I can do that then. Okay. Seven. A seven, okay. You would just know that she's the the mayor. And that she looks like this. <clears throat> yeah, that's her. She looks like a mayor. Humanoid. She's the mayor. She looks like a mayor. Just a regular old human woman with looks like John auburn Mayer. hair. John. <laughs> Just a regular human woman with short hair. The body is a wonderland. All right. Um... <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Front man of Kansas, John Mayer. She she had a husband for a while, but he died. So oh, you make your way sad. to Area Eleven, and uh, so who who's taken her to the bone yard? Oh, Christ. <laughs> well, if so, everything goes well, I'll think about it. <laughs> Alright, so we go, we head over there. 
you walk into the front of this um what seems to be a keep almost and before you is a uh, woman at the front desk and is like do you have an appointment oh we're deputies ma'am oh we would, we would like to see the mayor i'm sure that you can make that happen for us uh i don't know if you've heard of us we're the uh, heroes of sandpoint saved everyone from goblins does that sound right. familiar but do you have an appointment no, we do not have an appointment, but... Can I schedule sure. an appointment for later in the day, or is she booked? Uh, she's busy right now, but I can... Yeah, I can certainly try to see about uh, scheduling. Delia, Delia, Delia. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is, uh, this is how things work. You know, you say, hey, uh, we, we really need to talk to her, and if you don't let us talk to her, well, there's going to be problems. And she Lars talks her head I, at this. Looks at her and says, I don't, no, 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 no. no I don't saying, think... Threatening an official is going to get us anywhere. No, no, no. We're not going to cause the problems. I'm saying our business is so urgent that if she doesn't talk to us that there's going to be problems. But there's well, not. Well, you don't know that. This is where it's called but negotiations. we do have an appointment. We, we do have an appointment, right? I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, I don't do. have an appointment. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we do. We, we do. all have one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I you... remember the appointment now. I'll have an appointment with her. Well, not e individually. Uh, as, as I'm afraid I don't remember this. Yeah. I'm sure you remember this. Lars is Lars does the thing where he like looks at her and, and like is winking and is like, "You don't remember the appointment?" No. About the goblins. <laughs> this is we wanted Miss to talk to the you straight face about the history of the town and how you know there may be a murder spree coming again if it's if it's like last time well we went over that with amiko we didn't have to talk to the mayor about that yeah but amiko barely shared anything she wasn't even in town for all we know she could have been the one doing all the murdering and that's why i asked about the bone yard but you told me not to do that yeah again again not a good thing to open with it, we, you know you want to soften them up and then ask about the bone yard Excuse me, Miss Secretary, have you ever been to the Boneyard? Okay, yes. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Just, she's just staring at you like a, like a tennis match as it's like going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And, forth and just yes, going yes. like, what the hell are you four talking about? Please, please We ignore. have an appointment please, right now. Please ignore my associates. What is the mayor doing right now? She's currently trying to help lead some of the reconstruction efforts around town. Is she town. in the building, or is she out about the town? She's out currently. Do you know where we could find her? Yeah, she's over by the cathedral. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. We will meet up with her there. Okay. Well, Lord of mercy, I'm telling you, if we schedule an appointment with her, we'll have her undivided attention. If we try to talk to her while she's leading the construction efforts, we're going to have to deal with the fact that she's also leading the construction efforts. Yeah, we're well, going to talk when to four talk deputies. To yeah, well, yeah, when we go talk to her, we'll, uh, we'll put someone on the construction from our group, and the rest of us will talk to her. It's fine. Have but, you met yeah. us? That is a terrible idea. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm sure for the ten or so minutes that we talk to her, it'll be just fine. What well, could possibly go wrong in 10 minutes on a construction site? I suppose Nothing. you're right. I suppose you're right. Why yeah, don't we just get rich her, pants can... and throw them over there? Rich pants. Walter rich, rich, rich Pants Fox Glove. <laughs> my uncle's name is Rich Pants. <laughs> Hi, my name is Richard Pants. It's I'm nice Richard to meet you. <laughs> Not to be confused with Dick Pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's my uncle. <laughs> Please, Dick Pants is my father. You can call Dick me Dick Pants Richard. is my father. I'm Richard Pants Jr. <laughs> Richard Pantaloons. <laughs> uh, if you if you need to, you can schedule an appointment with her. We'll like like Ricardo you said, you trousers. <laughs> you can have <laughs> undivided attention where she can sure. talk to you. And if you're regarding the late unpleasantness, I think you, you should know, have this in a more secluded environment not out in the middle of the town that's what i'm saying where she's man. leading the construction efforts okay but we'd still like to talk this to sounds her like about a very some other things topic? That are, yes i mean very sensitive but there are oh. other things that are going on like uh well we can't share them with you because you'd freak out and i don't know maybe you'd share that with your friend and the you know we and inside a panic in the town because mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. beyond just the uh, news of the goblin invasion and that sort of thing 
Uh, wow. But yeah, pencil us in for what, when's her next available appointment? Um, she has a thing open around three. All right, will we be, will we be we back from probably the Tickwood by then? Yeah. How long? Okay. How long does it take to punt boars? Apparently less than three hours. So, oh no, we're meeting him earlier. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds yeah. great. Okay. We'll see you then. We're gonna Three go kill some okay. pigs. And she cocks her head. They're like, "What? Okay, I'll, I'll fence you in for three. Uh, what are your names? What should uh, I put down? Just the deputy. I mean, we are <laughs> all deputies. Okay. Okay. But, uh, uh, three o'clock can... appointment. Deputies. Uh, late unpleasantness <laughs> to electric boogaloo. Okay, got it. <laughs> You can, uh, I mean, you can just call us Incorporated Bastards. No, that sounds ridiculous. Bastards Incorporated. How about that? There you go. Uh, sure. Okay. Bastards. Or, or Bastards and... LLC, since that's the only available website. <laughs> uh, various Bastards for 3 p.m. Got it. Yes. A whole bunch of Bastards. Just okay. A group of Bastards. A regular menagerie of motherfuckers. A plethora of black <laughs> bastards. Okay. A gaggle so, of jackasses. That have, that have incorporated like that themselves. <laughs> a gaggle of jackasses who have formed some type of group. We're a, a loose conglomerate of unpleasant people. Okay. So you make your way... Um, it's currently like... 9 a.m. I re- or well, no, it was super early, but you make your way there. And, and um, uh, cars, can I get some cure light wounds potions before we leave? Yeah, you can go around and uh, purchase anything you need. Okay. Did we get uh, aside from the 50 gold we got? Did we get any other money? Um, 50 you... gold. Oh yeah, I hand Odin his cut. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, yeah. Aldern gave us each uh, ten gold uh, yesterday. <laughs> hmm. Um. And I have that weird magic wand. Yeah. There was. Um... Uh, can I do knowledge arcana on that wand? Yeah. You go for it. Oh, oh nice. Uh, with all the goblins, there was a total of around. 84 gold if you scrounge it around on the goblins' corpses after the fight. Like, 84 gold total. Total. 21 gold. And he got a net 20 on the arcana. Oh, dope. Okay, it is a... It's a wand of cure light wounds with 8 charges. Oh. Wow. I thought it was like a wand of obliteration. It's like, well, <laughs> bad time to mention I've been using it as a back scratcher. <laughs> <laughs> it's just excellently Whoops. triggered and it just obliterates your back. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, finally! I don't have to worry about it anymore. So we have two wands of Cure Light Wounds, is that correct? Yep. I think Odin has one, right? Yeah, I already have one with 23 charges. Uh, I can hold on to the other one if you will no not. Else. No, you want it. I want it, fan square. Cool. Keep it. Okay. So you each have a you each have a large sum of money. You have two wands of cure light wounds with I <laughs> hope the ability to cast these wands. Um large sum of money. <laughs> <laughs> If you're level one adventures, yeah. It's a good chunk of For someone wanting to start our, our own kingdom, I don't think so. I have less than 100 gold. <laughs> I oh, also have less than 100 gold, but uh, I spent all my money on this cool, uh, well, this cool hammer and uh, this breastplate and uh, a couple of um, potions of cure light wounds. I know I love magic. Yeah, everything weapon, I had went into my bow. Uh, masterwork backpack, that's it. Yep, that's all I have. Well, actually, I lied. I don't even have a masterwork backpack. <laughs> uh, with that, it trundles towards, and the time trundles forward closer to ten o'clock, where the arranged meeting time was at 
over by Tanner's Bridge. What do you do? What a wonderful mm. name. Or a wonderful word. Trundle. Trundle, Trundle yeah. I heard uh, a G in it. Trunk. I may have actually set up with a G. No Trungle is along. Trungle all over there. So that dock at in Mill Pond, are those just a bunch of logs sitting in the water? Kind of looks like it. Wait, where? Mill Pond? Over Mill Pond. Um, they're like... I believe... One of them's maybe a boat that's tipped on its side. But yeah, it looks like the rest of them are just logs. Maybe used to haul a boat up so you can, like, do... Do you have the... What is 25? Probably a boathouse. It's the boatyard. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the Sandpoint Lumber Mill. Oh, oh for course. sure then. Yeah. Not anywhere close to trees. Cool. Mm -hmm. yep. Well, they float them down the river, I would yeah. assume. God, Dahlia, let me uh, tell you. If you've never seen, the, you know, they chop the trees down over here, and then they just float the float them down, and they. Come but have been to the Wisconsin Dells? The Delta is to the west. Yeah, that. And the trees are across the river immediately. No, not not down here. Yeah. Up here. Uh. Odin, you would know that your family has been, it was in competition with them for a while, but they've lately been, um, these guys have been pretty stupid lately. Like, their location, first of all, is awful. Yeah, they can't even get the trees there. Yeah, your family <laughs> is more along the coastline, where it's an easier location to ship them out, instead of just, like, going all around the Tandara, going under a bridge and then having to navigate your way through the Sandpoint Harbor to get out, where you can just, like, chop the trees down, get them however you need, and get out past Cockrock Cove. Like, that's yeah, what that, I... <laughs> that really is a bad location. Like, yeah, that's... Uh, I know what you're saying. I know you're saying that they're they're coming down from on top of Tanner's Bridge, but, like, that's not... That doesn't look like a bridge that comes up. Like, everything would just get stuck at Tanner's Bridge. That looks like a very small bridge. It... It's not great. Not to mention, they wouldn't be able to get them out past Sandpoint Bridge, because that bridge has bal has um, poles in the, the middle. Bridge, they couldn't get a yeah. boat through there. Um, I don't know if you know how bridges work, but typically there's room underneath them. They don't go all the way down. I don't think the people who made the map for uh, Sandpoint know how bridges work. Oh. My problem with it is that just I'm I'm going by the location of shadows. It does not look like these bridges are very high off of the fucking water. Yeah. And It'll, I thus mean, we compose a letter right to Paizo. <laughs> Boner for who wrote that shit? Your maps are fucking worthless. Do, they could do, not do, have a lumber mill do, here Jason in Mill Pond. Bowman. How dare <laughs> you? Jason Bowman, you could, bastard. James Jacobs, say, first of all. Shit. Listen, Two Rock Dinosaur Hunter River is too fucking narrow <laughs> for a boat to get through Sandpoint Bridge. There's no way they could transport the lumber unless they did so by land, but without vehicles that are strong enough, <laughs> like fucking automobiles and shit, they wouldn't be able to transport them in large quantities like they could with a boat, but they can't get through the bridge, through the fucking river. <laughs> Your book sucks. Sincerely, fuck you. Dear Jason Bowman, you know this adventure you wrote 20 years ago that <laughs> you don't give a shit about anymore? <laughs> There's a problem with the map. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> fuck you and Tanner's Bridge. Welcome to Rise of the Bridge Lords, a adventure path brought to you. Welcome to Engineers Being Pissed Off. Anyway, well, we well, meet I Alderan. One, well, I for one uh, don't say anything is wrong with this because they're they're my family's competition, so I'm okay with this. Kansas could not have a concert on this fucking bridge. It is way too narrow. <laughs> you can only fit three members of Kansas on this bridge. <laughs> and Eric Clapton, or whoever the fuck we were talking about before. John Mayer walking. John Mayer. 
the the members of Kansas, Eric Clapton, John Mayer, and uh, fucking Henry Harris. What the fuck was the guy's name? <laughs> <laughs> the dude who made the song that I referenced in my character oh, sheet. Harry, Harry Chapin. That one. <laughs> That's a regular super group. Yeah, there's the laws going there. <laughs> and Alderaan's listen, on base. Listen. Uh, oh, the fuck are you about <laughs> I'm actually reading now hey, the Wikipedia Alderaan. page for log driving, and it's actually fascinating. Uh, it is fascinating. <laughs> Lars pulling it up on his ye old cell phone. <laughs> Did you guys know that the figure of speech high and dry refers to an unsuccessful log drive? Uh, yep. It's because maximum river flows <laughs> coincided with the runoff from yep. snow melt and was sometimes I live in a... water released from flash dams. <laughs> and if logs were started down river when there's not enough water to cover them all the way to the sun bill, the investment made in cutting that timber might be stranded high and dry in shallows along the stream for a yep. year until the next spring snow melt. Snow melt. That's fascinating. I live on a major river that did a lot of logging, so... <laughs> I know all about like people cutting off the ends of uh, timbers to steal to steal the uh, lumber charge. It's kind of fun. What am we I find biggest, them all the time. My biggest issues at this point is that the sh there's the shallows of Turok River, like right at the mouth, is like very narrow. Like, how the fuck are you gonna get anything in through here or yeah. here? You're gonna have a log. Like, jam. What the fuck is this? Like, let alone get logs are this. fucking sideways. Speaking of log jam, let's go to the boneyard. God damn it. <laughs> it always comes back to the boneyard. Log, log jam. Log at at yeah. that moment, Lars sees Aldern and is like, hey, let's progress the story <laughs> forward. Oh, yeah. hello. Why? <laughs> we were just what? standing there. We were just having yeah. a wonderful conversation about the logistics of the um, Sandpoint milling. Oh yeah, we uh, we we thoroughly thrashed that one to death. Anyways, uh, <laughs> you, we have you scrutinized your bridges. You, I, I'm interested in Fuck taking your out bridges. some bores. Yes, and uh, as you see him, and he is in full plate armor, just trundling along, just trying to like, just loud as hell, like chunk chunk. Oh, Mister Alden, you're in your private wear today. Oh yes. Oh, <laughs> I. Do not want to die. And are um, you, I've are boars really deadly? Uh, to be honest, yes. when he leans in, I've never been on a boar hunt before. I'm quite oh, excited. Okay, uh, so this is a virgin boar hunt. That's okay. All right, that sounds good to me. Oh, yes, yep, I've heard there are, there are uh, rumors of wild boars out and about, deers, fire pelt cougars, and the rare giant ticks for which the wood is named. But I've, I've, I don't think there are any goblins about, so we should be fine. Uh, well, do we have any dogs? I mean, boar we hunts are dogs? sometimes... Well, sometimes you use the dogs to drive boars, and then you get up close and stab them, but uh, I assume that's not going to be... And then he any... starts to, like, tear up, like, we need dogs? No, 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 we don't, we don't need a dog, per se. <laughs> you can't have them anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't let you. We need dogs. Poor Jeffrey. <laughs> poor Jeffrey. Poor oh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey was at his name. This time. Jeffrey. My poor dog. Was it? Was that your dog's name, Jeffrey? I think it was. I don't, <laughs> remember. I don't remember. It's it been was, too long. It it's was Jeffrey or Jeffrey. I saw my dog. Oh God! God, do God God rest rest dog so. <laughs> Anyhow, um, Kansas's new album. I'm going to go talk to my manservants and get a, get a, get a horses for each of us. It sounds Hopefully good. Make sure you don't get a uh, horse that's too tall for me. I am uh, I, more of a I pony type of, type of guy. I'll get a, I'll get a gallop and pony for you, Mr. Mr. Larson. To search. I need a man servant to fetch me a, a napkin for my tears for Paul. <laughs> my poor oh, dog. God. And he uh, walks away to a place where we can find horses. <clears throat> and then about um, four minutes later, he comes back, and he seems to be like his the 
the face plate for the full plate is like up and he's like dabbing a napkin at each of his eyes like oh my my poor my poor dog is dead but anyhow we're i'm here with my friends to hunt a hunt a, hunt a boar and with that we begin our journey eastward looking for a boar as he leads you out and he begins asking you like so um who who are you all how did you make it to uh standpoint well uh me and myself um uh, i you know i came from the town of castle um, yeah my my dad was a uh you know merchant over there and uh well i've got a bunch of brothers and sisters and i decided to strike out on my own and prove to the world that i could uh you know sort of earn my own keep and um i got real interested in, in sort of bringing the center search name some notoriety uh, a good notoriety, not bad notoriety. Oh, amazing! I, I, I can't wait to see your rise to provincial power, Mister Mister Cinder Surge. I hope you have uh, luck in re uh, reconstructing your family's name. Uh, the foxgloves are have have a manor up in uh, Magma. If if you are ever in town, I would. I would love to see you all again. I was just visiting for the Sandpoint Festival, and I'll soon be making my way from it. Since I, since I've lost Paul, Paul, Jeffrey. Yeah, I think that yeah. is my dog's name. I can't recall it anymore. I mean, so maybe long. someday I can. Uh, well, my 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 intention is to you know become a wealthy merchant and then eventually move into politics. So. Oh yes, that's a noble goal, sir. And and what of you, Miss Miss Rue? Uh, I'm sorry. What was the question? Uh, who, who, who are you? And what, what, what? <laughs> may, how did you make your way to Sandpoint? Well, I heard rumors <laughs> of giant activity in the area, and considering that part of my family was killed by giants, I figured that they were after the rest of my family. So, I came here seeing if I could find them. Unfortunately, there's no cats around here. I see. Well, hopefully you can find them and rid rid Galarian of those dastardly giants. I've mm. I've personally have never encountered one, but I'm I've heard word of the legend of their um bastardly nature. Yeah, they and they're quite large, so. Oh yes, quite quite monstrous even. I think that's why they gave them the name giants. Oh yes, that's an excellent observation, Mister Cindersurge. <laughs> why, if I didn't know, I would think you were a scholar. And yeah. he, he's being serious. Like, he is... <laughs> he is being 100% sincere right now. Lars wouldn't even roll a sense motive, even if he was suspicious. He's just... He's too trusting. He's very, very trusting. God help you if a man tries to poison Earth. Um... And, and what have you, uh, Miss... I forgot your fucking character's name. It's just fuck you, Jason. <laughs> uh, Arabini. What have you, Miss Arabini? I'm from across the sea. I see. How how wonderfully mysterious. Yes, yes. I've been all over. That magical display you showed in combat was wonderful. But um, speaking of magic, Mister Mister Odin. Your mastery of acid is talk of time, and your I, expert swordplay. Yeah, I, I just uh, live a couple miles down the road um, with oh, my family. Hello. We're actually in the lumbering business, uh, not associated with those next to the Tanners and uh, Sandpoint Bridge, though. <laughs> the lumbering business, we just walk around real slowly. Yeah, I, I yeah. frankly don't understand why they set up there, but who am I? I know nothing of these log drivers or mills of which uh, you you work. Yeah, but it's I'm, kind, I'm it's sure kind of a family family business uh, uh, with my two brothers and father. Oh, well, I hope you'll forgive me from dragging you away from family business for but a moment. But I, I sincerely hope we can find a, um, some type of, and he leans in, like, some type of boar, and then as he's trying to lean in to whisper it to all of you, he almost tips out of his horse saddle. He's like, whoa! 
I'm oh, so right. glad yeah. we decided to go with this guy. <laughs> so it, it gets quite repetitive at, at my home place, so it's nice to get out once in a while. And he's he has no idea how to ride a horse, by the way. Oh Jesus! Like that's it is okay. Just... I don't either. I think I technically take massive uh, negatives to my ride skill. So yeah, okay, minus gonna... two to ride. That's fun. <laughs> Trundling. Thirty seconds to LARP. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, you best. I like Anyhow. that one a lot. Um, <laughs> Can you roll a ride check? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say he fails a ride check, and it just, like, <laughs> he's, it's not going fast at all. The horse, He's mostly just kind of trying to direct the horse, but the horse just kind of goes whatever way it wants to. It stops at a small stream and leans down to take a drink, and he almost falls off the front of it. And it's like, oh dear, I'm, I'm not, I'm not quite good at riding horses. I suppose if I was in my public way, I'd have an easier time. But I just didn't want to take any chances. Yeah. Uh, well, looks like we're all having a bit of trouble with these horses. Perhaps we ought to have walked. Do you know how to find boars? By the uh, way, I think you need some sort of boar call. I see. What? Do you think boars sound like? Do they just sound like pigs? Well, hang on. If uh, if you let me catch a bit of shut eye here, I think you'll find out. Uh, I've got a bit of a snoring <laughs> issue, and <laughs> I've been told I, I snore like a boar. <clears throat> well, um, does well, anyone do you have... know that they've been residing around these parts? I I've heard word. Um, someone suggested I go out and boar hunt for a while. It was some man in a cloak. After I stopped him and asked him about his, uh, what he's doing in our library. But, uh, he told me to go hunt a boar. And I was like, well, that sounds lovely. A man and so in now, a cloak. In your library told you to go hunt a boar? <laughs> yes. And you listened to him? Yes, not a question about it. You, you are in, like, by said, hey, joke, you're right. You just said hey, and he said, go hunt a boar. Yes. You are in and wonderful company, Mr. Albert. <laughs> yes. I was like, you're right, I need to revitalize my life and eat, uh, eat like a commoner and go hunt a boar and catch it myself and with my friends. Hey, what, did this, what did I this really don't look think like? that's what he meant. I, are, you, are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if he precisely sure. said go hunt a boar, I, I honestly don't call what he said ex per se, but it was something about uh, boar. Was he maybe calling you a boar? Was he not thrilled with your conversation? And he like, he has like an awful realization like, Oh my gods. <laughs> oh, Aldern, I didn't mean for you to find out this way, but uh, I mean, you're oh, not, no. hey, Aldern, you're not a bad guy. Yeah, I just, just want you're to say. You're quite terrible. He I... starts like tearing up <laughs> no, oh, and then he like Aldern, shifts hey, the oh, face plate boy. down and you just hear like just... sniffling. The Just helmet, not like... a great look for a grown man. And he's like Actually, off his horse entirely, and he just sits down and starts crying. Like, I'm, I'm now that I think man. about it, Mr. Alban, I have asked you, have you been to the Boneyard recently? Uh, no, I, Delia. I can't say I have. <laughs> and at that, you hear a sound in the forest as you stare off, and before you runs a creature. Is it a, a creature? Board? Very familiar to everyone here. A boar. It is, in fact, a boar. I am moving everything around. Oh my god. I have fucked up my own map. Give me a moment. Well, the good, the good news is that we wouldn't be able to tell. Yeah. I totally just deleted the wrong map. I can control Z it. It's all good. We good. <laughs> a creature, never mind. <laughs> You it's, see nothing, and you gone. go back to <laughs> But yeah, before you is a boar. Has Aldern is sitting on the ground crying in full. Actually, just deleted the wrong token. <clears throat> I was trying to delete the purple thing that y'all had, but I accidentally <laughs> just deleted. As oh. Aldern fucking disappears. <laughs> Where is it? Ah! Player, is that on? I can't 
delete the purple coat. Did somebody take control of the coat for me? Well, we're not even on the same map as you. I know, this is what's strange to me. Is this the dynamic lighting thing again? I... No, it's... Oh, oh shit! Oh my gosh, is that a... Is that a dragon boar? Hold on a second! Oops, I accidentally clicked the final boss tab. Hmm. Wow. I feel like Joe. I no. don't have... I don't have a token for him. I was so kind of hoping there weren't actually any boars in the area. <clears throat> we just went out here for nothing. Let's find a giant spider or something. Yeah. But each of you are on horseback and... He we just found, find this just goblin stand. encampment. Draw something. And before you, a boar charges on screen and rams into Aldern Cliff. I need everyone to roll initiative. Has it just barrels into him and knocking him over? Oh, initiative, initiative. Where's my initiative? Nice. Why did it input Z one? And descending. So with that, it is Odin's turn first. As a boar has just ran. I don't know. I don't have a twenty-four. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say. Oh. <laughs> I'm oh. Pretty sure you, you you screwed the pooch on that one. I be. <clears throat> okay, it is Delia's turn first. I don't have a twenty-three. It is a ten. Okay, I believe it's my turn first. It has everyone <laughs> else's initiative. Odin Odin has a seventeen. Okay. Uh, Boar has a one. No, that's... <laughs> that's Alder. No, the boar has a one. If mm. <laughs> only. Hmm. Oh, no. Wait, you have a plus seven? A Rapanite? Yeah. God damn. Okay, alright. So it is... She's gotta move fast if she wants to put the whole party to sleep. That's right. right. Lars uh, sees this. He says, "Oh, that's not good," and he uh, charges and power attacks, and he can do that because that's less than sixty feet. And let's see, okay. what's my okay? Please one shot it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, there, Ravenna. What? Oh, <laughs> commas are important. <laughs> oh, my uncle oh. jack up a horse. Uh, does a thirteen hit? What? A uh, 13 does not hit. Oops. Oh. It's f I know it's flat-footed, but uh, it is a tanky little boar. Uh, Lars whiffs and is like, oh, whoops. Aldrin is like, like oh dear god, save me. <clears throat> not again. He screams. And it is Odin's turn. Do keep in mind, Odin, if you burn it to death with acid, we probably won't get much meat off of it. Is that our goal here? What else will we be here for? Killing a boar. To get the meat. To kill the boar. We don't need the meat to kill the boar. The boar needs to die to get the meat. We need to kill the boar to kill the boar. To get the meat. Just to kill the boar. Then kill the fucking boar. Or with your fucking, more. with your immensely powerful acid splash. Oh yes. Well, I'm gonna take a twenty foot walk, mm -hmm. run. What is that line there? That's the river or a stream? No, no, the the black line. I genuinely don't know what that is. 
I didn't put anything there. Is it fog, oh, is that, fog of War? That's probably Fog of War, yeah. Mm. And... Odin will Acid Splash. Okay. <laughs> when in doubt, splash acid it out. Splash. That's the only time I can ever hit anything. Uh, 14 does hit against yeah. Touch AC. Okay. A whole lot of damage of one. Here we go Begins again. again. <laughs> I hit, but it's always one. One point of damage is dealt to the boar. And with that, it was the boar's turn. And it turns, thinking the damage came from the big dwarf in front of it. It goes... And goes to goes snap wide. out. Bring it. It's a blood noise. <laughs> yep, does that hits. Hit? Yep. Okay. I can't make board noise for the life of me, so that's what you get. <laughs> uh, ten points <laughs> the of goes, <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> ten points? <laughs> the, the boar goes quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm already down to wounded. And with that, it is a Rabbanite's turn. <clears throat> she will move forward. Oh, lost you. And she will cast Daze on the boar. Okay. Make Boars, a... well known for the will saves. Make a will save for me. That's a big oof. Yep. So he can't. Um, yeah, he's dazed. So he can only. He can't take any actions. He just doesn't lose any penalties to his AC. As the boar just starts to like swivel in a circle. Well, not swivel, but it starts to like just shake in a circle. Why am I keep saying in a circle? It just <laughs> begins to shake. I'm very tired. Shit. That's my yeah, turn. Okay, and Delia. Uh, if I shot from here, would the boar have soft cover? Uh, yeah, the boar would have cover. Yes, because of me. Yeah, thanks. So I'll, uh... Do some quick... Okay. Okay. I'll just move here. Shoot the boar. Okay. Uh, that's for it. Oh shit. Okay. And until you get a second attack, I think we're just doing it just crits. Yeah. So piercing crit. So that's uh times three, isn't it? Yeah, it's times three plus three. Uh double damage and the target is exhausted. A fortitude save negates. Seventeen damage. Oh. Nice. That's beefy damage. And I need to make oh, a yeah. fortitude save. Luckily, it well, has a pretty... Well, so with the damage, I'll apply the damage and then I'll make the fortitude save. That's how we're going to do that. Dude, that's a minus six to strength and dex. Oof. Yep. So, fortitude at a plus four. Then I needed to beat your confirmation roll. I... Or just the initial... I, I... The initial roll. I, so I guess 27. Okay. AC. So AC. it does not, so now it is exhausted alongside me. Everything dazed. Dazed. We love stacking conditions. In this <clears> we right really do. We are in love with it. It's a good thing to do. This was and, accidental. Uh, <laughs> with right. that, this deft ex. You would think that Delia was an expert boar hunter with that shot to its stomach. Has it just. All the energy it had is just like just gone, and it seems to be like heavily wounded now, as it is Aldern's turn, and he scrambles away for his goddamn life. One, two, three, four. He can only move to there because he's in full plate, and it is Lars's turn again. Okay, Lars is gonna um, say, "Well, uh, thanks for leaving me without a flank, but uh, I'll go ahead and attack." And... Uh, he's just scrambling away on all fours, like, "Oh dear God!" Um... Did he not bring a weapon to this? 
gosh, I really don't like these. Uh, yeah, I'm ta- dude, uh, I'm already taking a minus two after taking ten points of damage. What if I just rage? Ra- Lars is going to say, all right, do, do this one for all the money. And rages. <laughs> Uh, that's a that 14. Hits. Oh, yeah, because he's got nothing for that. Yeah. Oh, I need to not apply. Yeah, that hits. At 21 oh. points of damage. Yep, and with that, the deadly arrow, followed by a brutal blow from a hammer as you Don't forget about knock the this thing in the one point of acid damage, and it knocks it into the river as it just sits there bleeding out. An arrow sticking from it and a sizable dent to its head. Uh, that's and how you all do that it. That is over. As Aldern uh, looks back and goes, oh, "You've saved, you've saved me again. My, truly, you are, truly, you are amazing heroes." Alvin, did you remember to bring a weapon to this hunt? It, well, it was on my my horse, but um, it. I um. Where's my horse? Yeah, where are our horses? Oh no. Your horses are like here, but Aldern's just kind of walked away. Yeah, Aldern, I would, uh. Next time you go, I, I'd suggest getting a, uh. Mm, pony? Might, might want to start or a with a pony. Oh dear. Well, um. I suppose, uh. Can one of you. Thought... Can I ride with one of you back to town? I suppose we can try to cook this thing at, um, the Rusty Dragon. Ah, uh, sure thing. Uh, from all animals. What? No, we banned, we banned him from, him from all from pets. pets. The boar is not a uh, pet. But with a horse. Uh, well, uh, working animal, I don't know. That's a, that's a, uh, that's a bit of a, uh, it was a loner. Line. The law has some loopholes. We'll just settle on that. Yeah. But um, yeah, the the horses for each of you are are yours. I was I was just buying mine as a loaner because I don't plan on staying in town. Oh, where are you, where are you gonna go? Oh, I'm gonna go back to Magnamar after all after I'm done here. Well, that's probably fair. And Lars would go pick up the boar. Okay. Uh, after dropping out of his one round of rage, so. And head back to his horsey. Okay. And with that, you begin heading back to town. It was like maybe an hour to ride out, so it's about 11 now, and it's an hour back. So about 30 minutes in between was just riding around in the woods while Aldern tried to talk to you about like what you, what you do, how do you do it, what brought you to Sandpoint. And it's a nice character establishing moment. He tries to like flirt with Delia, but he has no idea what he's doing. Mr. Alburn, your voice annoys me. Please be quiet. I uh, oh. <laughs> also, oh. she's a cat. I don't know if you know this, but cat folk don't typically go for uh, human types. And you're not well, allowed to own pets. Well, let's talk. <laughs> fucking what? <laughs> Boy, that that is an entirely different conversation. But sure. <laughs> No, please, let's have this conversation. And he just, like, tips his helmet back down and just kind of, like, just sadly sits in the back of one of your horses as you guys ride back to town. Having the most awkward conversation of our lives. <laughs> what, and... does, what does he remember about the person in his study? Does he remember anything? It was just a figure in a hood who made his way into his house. And was at looking around for like some books that Aldrin doesn't. But he just keeps Aldrin. I only keep books to look like I'm well studied in actuality. I just keep them as a reminder that I can read books anytime I would like. Mm. That seems like a very rich person thing to do. Hey, yes, Aldrin, yes I am quite rich. Aldrin, do you know anything about the uh, about the uh, late unpleasantness? Uh, no, I can't say that I have. What, what, what is that? Uh, just, uh, 
series of crazy things that happened back in back a little while back in Sandpoint. Just curious. Oh, uh, no, I can't say I have much idea about that. Um, I'm from Magdaba. I I'm only a recent arrival at Sandpoint, but I uh, I I own a house out here, but it's mostly just for the family. This is your summer like house. That. Yes, of sort. I have some other family that stays up there, but um, I just came down from Magnamar to visit them in the Sandpoint Festival. Well, if I had, if you would permit me to give you a suggestion, Mr. Alburn, you probably should stay a bit away from here. It doesn't seem like a very lucky place for. No, I haven't had any good things happen to me out here, aside from making some friends and having my life saved, I suppose. Twice now. All right. Well, if I, I think I'm gonna head out. Life in danger. All right. Odin just diverts tracks and begins heading up towards where his uh, family's house is. <laughs> see, see yeah, Odin's Odin's not, we never see him again. <laughs> not gonna be a part of this conversation. <laughs> All right. See you guys in two weeks. Yep. Later, Dex. Yep. Yeah, Good night. You too. Okay. <laughs> well, you want to go talk to the mayor? Jeez. Or I guess we don't have her. You know, let's go eat this boar. We can. We could talk to the mayor, can't we? Well, we've got yeah. an appointment at three. I mean, I I can haul it in and give it to Amiko to cook for you, but um, she'll be waiting to see you, I think. But. If you've got an appointment, I suppose that's important. More important than hanging out with friends. <laughs> I hate this guy. <laughs> Alban, people have died. I almost died twice. Well, you haven't, so you're less important than the ones who have died. Oh, I didn't know that's how it works. Yeah, Is there I mean... a manual I can read or a pamphlet of some sort? I, do I have a short attention span. It's more just being a decent human being, but... Um, yeah. People have said I have problems with that. I'm gonna go now. Not shocked. Not shocking. Goodbye. And he, uh, as you make your way into town, he gets off and begins trying to drag the boar in full plate back over to <laughs> um the rusty dragon. Well, by the time he gets there, it ought to be three o'clock, so... Let's just watch him. This is hilarious. Yeah, it's actually pretty funny. And he's just slowly dragging it along. He's not <laughs> strong, so it's taking him a while. He's like, are none of you going to help me? I'll, okay, I'll just... <laughs> no, no, this is... Uh... This is the most pathetic thing. Yeah. He's, he's watching. <laughs> and he's just slowly dragging it along. <laughs> yeah, he's not making good progress. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great! <laughs> but, um, yeah, you guys make your way around uh, over to Time Passes, and it's damn near 2.30. What do you do? Uh, after eating some of the boar, I guess, uh, mm -hmm. Lars would uh, say, all right, well, I suppose we should make our way to the mayor's. Okay. Got oh wait, did you did you stop by the Rusty Dragon? I yeah, I I, I assume that we would. Oh, yeah, we followed what's face there. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, no, we well, were um, watching in the whole way. Yeah. Okay. Um, how did <laughs> you guys are just hanging, the worst. hanging around the Rusty Tavern or the Rusty Dragon, eating some of the boar that you and Aldern caught? Um, someone comes in. And slams the tavern's door open and bellows out a sharp tongue command in a strange language. It is a elderly Tian man, one of Sandpoint's most well known nobles, but none of you are from Sandpoint, aside from the person who's gone now. <laughs> but before you stands an elderly man. He Where just is... barged in here? And he's you yelling he was out. A, he was a Tian man? Yeah, here. Let me see if I can pull up a picture of him. But you hear him say, like, Amiko Kaijutsu! Hajuta! 
and he yells that out. And everyone just, like, stops. Like, the tavern was in a happy mood. Even Alder just kind of in full play, just shies away like, oh. Oh, even Aldern's afraid. This is serious. Right. But um, from the back, you hear, like, rustling. Hazamiku darts out and yells out, What the hell are you doing in my tavern? And he goes, Oh, I am here to find my daughter serving commoners food when she should be helping me. What are you doing here? And she goes, Well, I'm just here to help people. I, I've done my job. I'm a tavern owner now. And she is, he is just angry with her about doing this. Okay, wait. Oh god, I am not ready at all. I didn't think it would be going this fast. Uh, <clears throat> I know Lars would not be happy if someone was yelling at Amiku, Amiko, and uh, he would he would definitely stand up and you know wipe the pig grease off his face and say, uh, "Excuse me, sir, what what's your problem?" My problem is that my daughter is out here serving commoners when she should be coming back to Tian with me. Well. She's a she's a grown woman. I think she can decide to do exactly what she wants to do. I don't think she has to listen to you. Uh, sorry, Amiko. I don't I don't mean to you know try and intervene. I just can't can't stand to see bullies pe push people around. What makes you say that, Mister? I don't even know what your name is. The name's Lars Lars Cinder Surge. I'm not going to remember it. <laughs> Amiku, come back with me, or I'm going to cut you out of the will. Um, what language was he speaking earlier? Uh, Minkayan. Okay, never mind. Delia's bow is on the counter, but she's otherwise just watching the situation. Mm -hmm. Lars is, as always, holding Problem Solver. I and will try to... Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Lars would just be looking to to Amiku for the sort of. All right, do you need me? Do you want me to do something? Do you want me to do something? Or are you going to do something? Like, she's like holding up her hand, like let this idiot talk. And then has he has she says that to him? He's like, oh, you you adventurers, always causing problems around town, endangering townsfolk with your antics against the goblins. You should have left the defense of the town to train professionals or the gods. You are nothing. Yeah, well... Just a band of filthy vagrants to attract even more trouble to town. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's not wrong. Uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, we're the ones who, you know, invited all the goblins in and then failed to attack them. We, we didn't drive them all out and, you know, save everybody's lives. Sure, sure thing. You could have, if you were a trained guardsman, you, I'm sure the guards could have done it faster. Yeah. But instead, well, all we had were you, who allowed people to die and towns, the town buildings to be set on fire. Yeah, uh, Mr... I hate to bring it to you, but there were trained guards there and they didn't do jack. One and... priest just kept pointing at everything. <laughs> Amiko yells out like, yeah, leave her in, you piece of shit. And then as he says, as she says that, um, Longiku tries to grab her by the hair and drag her to the tavern. But as he does, she dodges and splashes him with a soupy ladle. And as he's like covered in soup and yelled at by everyone, he's like, Oh, you're as dead to me as your mother. And then he leaves the tavern. Oh. oh, dang. Yeah. Lars would say, Hey, if I see you come back here, I'm not going to let Amiku take, you know, even lay eyes on you. I'll, I'll launch you out the door. And he's I think you're really scared of Mr. Sindersearch. Walking away. Lars knows that that was somewhat, you know, sarcastic, but it's like, hey, I can't believe that guy. What a what a jackass. Hey, uh, Miku, um, let me help you clean up here. And he starts, like, you know, wiping down what's been spilled. She's, like, standing there crying, like, tears in her eyes. Delia will immediately go to console the crying girl. <laughs> 
I'm okay. I just need a minute to go stand at the back. Let this work itself out. And she, um, like, breathes in a deep sigh, like... And she turns to the crowd with a smile on her face. A round of drinks on the house for everyone. And then she uh, quickly makes her way to the back. <laughs> like, just, like, thanking Delia and just being like, thank you. I, um, I need a minute. Take your time. Okay. <sighs> and she's just hiding in the back for a while, and you hear, like, small sobs as one of her assistants comes out and brings beer out to everyone. What a, uh, what a piece of work, huh? Lars basically would say to, like, no one in particular, as he's, you know, drinking. Yeah, that guy's a piece of shit. One of the people next to you says, a uh, dwarven male. What does he do here in town? Oh, he's just, he's, uh, I, he's her dad. That's his he's job? A, Professional. No, he's just, a he's just some jackass. Professional milk. dad. Professional the, dad. Uh, the Sandpoint Glassworks down on the southern. But he can be a real piece of shit. He works at the Glassworks? He owns the glass fort. Hmm. But, um, the Longiku family ain't, ain't too great. So their, um, their mom died. Yeah. Yeah, I caught that, uh, little bit at the end. Just, yeah, uh, that was a real shitty thing to yell out. So... Happy for the drinks, though, whatever this is from, but shit. I need no way to talk to your daughter. No, it's it's definitely not, um, and can't can't believe that, you know, he's just allowed to go around town, you know, messing with people like that. Like, uh, as a deputy, I I should have I should have stood up sooner. I should have handled it earlier. There ain't much we could have done about it. As he like leans back for a drink. Oh, anyhow, oh, there's plenty. I'm gonna I go get done. drunk. Yeah, good idea. And with that, he drinks some more and starts to carouse with some of his friends over in the corner. But, um, that's, that's about all I have for the night. Excellent. Fine, baby. Sounds like a... And we will <laughs> call it there. That This shouldn't exist. Um, <laughs> what? I think the uh, the little log <laughs> log jam. <laughs> Shitty fucking record. Like I know. <laughs> oh man. Ooh, I, I love I love giving y'all the ability to write shit on them. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of our pleasures. Oh, it really is. Like as the story's going on, we just have crayons and little kids menus to play right. with. Yeah, we're we're <laughs> filling out our own maps. All right, <laughs> great. Oh man. But good good times. Awesome. Good times. Yeah. I like I like when they include little things that are just like, "Hey, here's a natural way for you to like sort of share your backstory and like right because it's like, okay, this royal guy is asking questions about you so that, you know, all of your friends can figure out what your sort of general background is, because that's kind of sure. weird to just role play. Right. Yeah. It's and nice, now I switch nice characters, time. so all of that is irrelevant. God. <laughs> You're switching characters again? <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe later. Poor Delia. We, we barely knew you. She, when she leaves the scene, she dies instantly. <laughs> She dies on the bridge. She's so pissed about. <laughs> she just has Which an aneurysm one? on this fucking bridge. This bridge would be the death of me. <laughs> Fuck that right. bridge. I'm Fuck this to, bridge. I'm going to end the broadcast. She just 